Guyana and the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, have signed agreements to set out priority areas for work for the period 2022 to 2026, as well as the UN Multi-Country Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework, MSDCF 2022 to 2026. The FAO's Country Program Framework, or CPF, is an agreement between the organization and the government of Guyana and sets out how the FAO's strategic framework is translated into actions that contribute to the realization of the national development agenda. The document was arrived at after close collaboration between Guyana and the FAO. The CPF is also aligned to the UN MSDCF, the vehicle for defining the UN's contribution and commitment to support national efforts to achieve economic, social, and environmental goals, or the SDGs. Speaking at the signing of the two documents, Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa said technical assistance from the FAO will play an integral role in Guyana's efforts to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, Agenda and Vision 25 by 2025. It is very important that we have renewed the country program agreement between the FAO and Guyana. And this is a uh, this document reflects our priorities in certain areas we the the, um, the areas were just revealed by ambassador harper those are the area of cooperation and collaboration over the years the fao has played a very very important role helping go government in various areas and i want to first of all I want to thank the fao i want to thank the regional director you know for a fact that he has been um behind of a lot a lot of those assistance that have been coming to Guyana and also our, um, the country representative, Dr. Gillian Smith. She has been working very closely with the Ministry of Agriculture and other agencies of the government, but this here show our priority in certain areas that we as a, a, a government and particularly as a ministry that we want FAO to help us in, uh, in those areas. Recently, you would have um, known that when we had the problem with the fishing issue, FAO uh, and, and is still conducting that study and I am hoping that very shortly we can have that report um, comes out to the public so that we can know exactly what is taking place there. But that is just one aspect I am saying about the cooperation that we have had over the years and I want to extend our the government thanks to FAO. I hope that this will be a continuous process. This agreement that we have signed just now, this agreement of cooperation, the country program framework is from 2022 to 2026. So in those years, or, or these years to come, we will be having cooperation in those areas that was just revealed by Ambas Ambassador Harper. And that, those are the priorities of the government. So once again, on behalf of the government, I want to thank you, um, Dr. Julio and Dr. Gillian Smith, and to the FAO for the cooperation that we have been having over the years. The other agreement, a Memorandum of Responsibilities, or MOR, was signed by the Honorable Hugh Todd, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Relations, which is for the hosting of the 38th FAO Regional Conference for Latin America and the Caribbean, LARC, during the second half of 2024. The document sets out the respective responsibilities to be assumed by the government of Guyana on the priority areas of support. Signing on behalf of the FAO was Assistant Deputy Director for Latin America and the Caribbean, Dr. Julio Berdigo. In brief remarks, Dr. Berdigo said the signing of the document showcases the commitment of the FAO in its support for the priorities of the government of Guyana and formalizes a decision by 33 countries in Latin America and the Caribbean to host the next regional conference in Guyana. The decision to be here signing these documents reflects on the one hand the document signed with the Minister of Agriculture, the commitment to support the priorities of the government of Guyana in the coming years. We have been working in this country for many, many years. We will continue to be here as long as the government and the people of Guyana believe that we have something to offer to this country. The other document that we signed with Minister Todd is really the formalization of a decision not made by FAO, but by 33 countries of Latin America and the Caribbean, whose governments decided that the next regional conference will take place here in Georgetown in 2024. Let me emphasize that in 2024, we will be celebrating or commemorating 20 years of the launching of the Jadeo Initiative. 
It's been 20 years since Guyana has been leading efforts for food security and revitalization of agriculture in this part of the world. This meeting that we're having here confirms that Guyana is the place to be today. No other country in the Americas is conducting a transformation of its agri-food systems to the extent with the dynamism, with the level of political support that I have seen here in Guyana. Thank you very much to the government of Guyana, the people of Guyana, the farmers of Guyana for allowing us to be part of this enormous process that you have started.